Welcome back to SDG Academy. Today we are going to study how to prepare sales book and the subsidiary books. Already we have studied how to prepare cash book and the purchase book. Today's topic is how to prepare sales book. Before going to sales book, we have to understand some points. The first one is what are the transactions to be recorded in sales book. Under sales book, we have to record only credit sales. This is the main point. All the sales can be divided into cash sales and credit sales. All the cash sales will be recorded in cash book. So only credit transaction, only credit sales will be recorded. The first one. The second one is only the sale is to be recorded. What is sale or purchase? The goods sold can be termed as sales. If anything sold other than the trading activity, we can call it as sales because it is not a goods. Only the purchase of goods is termed as purchase and the sale of goods is termed as sales. If any old furniture sold, stationary items sold, any machinery sold, all these are sales but it is not a sale of goods. All these type of sales will be taken to either in cash book if it is a cash sales and if it is a credit sales it is to be taken to general book. This is the only thing we have to remember while preparing the subsidy book. All the cash transactions will be taken to cash book. All cash receipts and all cash book. All credit purchase of goods will be taken to purchase book. All the credit sale of goods will be recorded in sales book. And the cash sales will be taken to cash book. So only two things we have to remember while preparing the sales book. Then what is the format of sales book? The format will be First one dates, second is particulars, third is invoice number, fourth is LF, ledger folio, the next is details, details of sales will be recorded in that column. The next will be sales amount and uh, the next is output CGST, next is output SGST, the next one is output IGST and the last one is total amount. So these are the columns in sales book. In purchase book we have seen Input CGST, Input SGST and Input IGST. Here the GST columns are Output CGST, Output SGST and Output IGST. The Output CGST and Output SGST, IGST will be a liability of the company. We are collecting the GST from the customers when we are making the sales on behalf of the government. Then we can study later how to record this Input GST, Input CGST, Input SGST, Output CGST, Output SGST and uh, Output IGST everything we can study later how to post to each account and uh, how to set off this Input GST with the Output GST and everything that we can study after completing the sales book. So if you are the first time viewer please subscribe my channel please enable the bell like icon also you will get important notifications so many classes will be uploaded regularly so if you are a commerce student it will be very useful for you we can complete a problem for facebook then we can understand more about the preparation of facebook write down the question record the following transactions in the sales book of ganesh and company jaipur rajasthan who did in furniture assume cgst 6 percentage and uh, SGST 6 percentage. June 4, 2017, sold to Gupta Furniture House, notably 120 chairs at the rate of 2500 per chair, 25 tables at the rate of 8000 per table, less 5 percentage trade discount. On June 8, sold to Raja Furniture House, Ahmedabad, Gujarat, H. Almiras at the rate of 15,000 each, 9 steel cabinets at the rate of 20,000 each, less a trade discount of 10 percentage. On 12th June, sold all the computer for Rs. 1,500 to Mohan and Company on credit. On 20th, sold four sofa sets at the rate of 25,000 each to Warren and Company for cash. 25th, sold to No Furniture House Jaipur, five sofa sets at the rate of 20,000 each, 10 tables at the rate of 8,000 each. On 28th June, Purchased from Ramlal and Company 
Jaipur, Pankaraj. 50 chairs at the rate of 2000. These are the questions. The merchant, our name will be, we are the merchants, our name will be Ganesh and Company. We are dealing with the furniture. So our goods is furniture. The CGST and the SGST rate will be 6 percentage. So draw a sales book. We can record these transactions into sales. Go to the first transaction. On June 4, sold to Gupta Furniture House New Delhi, 120 chairs at the rate of 2500 per chair, 25 table at the rate of 8000 per table, trade discount at the rate of 5%. So this is a credit sales of goods. So we can record in sales. So write down the dates on the date column, June 4th, 2017. Under particulars column, we have to mention the name of the buyer. Our buyer is Gupta Furniture House, New Delhi. After that, write the description of the goods. 120 chairs at the rate of 2500. So write down the total on the details forum. If the invoice number everything is mentioned in the question, we have to record the invoice number on the invoice forum. Here nothing is mentioned about the invoice number. So we can omit the invoice number. Go to the details forum. Multiple the number of pieces into range. 120 into 2500. It is coming to 3 lakhs. So write down on the details forum 3 lakhs. Write the next item. 25 table at the rate of 8000. So 25 into 8000. On the total column, 2 lakhs. Now the first transaction is completed. Total the amount. 3 lakhs plus 2 lakhs, 5 lakhs. Now we have to deduct the trade discount. How much is the trade discount rate? 5 percentage. So less 5 percentage trade discount. 5 lakhs into 5 percentage, 25,000. Write down less 5 percent trade discount, 25,000. Deduct that amount, write down in the details column, 4 lakh 75,000. Now we have to add the CGST and the SGST on the sale value. Here we have to remember whether the sale is interstate or intrastate. Interstate sales means the sales between two states. Intrastate sales means the sales within the stage. Be careful while preparing the purchase book and the sales book. We have to check whether the sale is interstate or intrastate. Otherwise, we will wrongly record the CGST or SGST instead of IGST. So here, we are Ganesh and company. We are located at Jaipur, Ajastan. We are selling the goods to Gupta Furniture House. He is located at New Delhi. So this is the sales between two states. So the tax applicable for this interstate sales will be IGST only. Not CGST or SGST. So the next item will be add IGST. The IGST rate will be the total of SGST and the CGST rate. Here in the question it is mentioned that the CGST is 6% and the SGST is 6%. So the IGST rate will be total of the both. 6 plus 6, 12%. So write down add IGST 12%. 4 lakh 75,000 into 12 percentage 57,000 now add both the amount 4 lakh 75,000 plus 57,000 5 lakh 32,000 this is the total sales value now under the sales column we have to men mention the actual sales amount without the GST write down 4 lakh 75,000 under output CGST nothing is there output SGST nothing is there Output IGST will be 57,000. In the total amount of order, 4,75,000 plus 57,000. 532000 Come to the next question. On June 8th, sold to Raja Furniture House, Ahmedabad, Gujarat. 8 almaras at the rate of 15,000 each. 9 steel cabinets at the rate of 20,000 each. See, we are Ganeshan Company, the merchants. We are preparing our books. And uh, our state is Rajasthan. Now we are selling the goods to Raja Furniture House. He is in the state of Gujarat. So this is also an interstate sales. So the IGST will be applicable. Write down June H. Write down the name of the buyer. 
Raja Furniture House, Ahmedabad, Gujarat. Write down the description of the wood. Age Almeras at the rate of 15,000 each. Total 1,20,000. Nine steel cabinets at the rate of 20,000 each. Total 1,80,000. Now total these both. 1,20,000 plus 1,80,000. 3 lakhs. See any trade discount is there. Less trade discount at the rate of 10 percentage. So we have to deduct 10 percentage trade discount from this sales. Write down less 10 percentage trade discount. 3 lakhs into 10 percentage 30,000. So deduct that amount. It is coming to 2 lakh 70,000. This is the final sales value. We have to add IGST on this figure. Add 12 percentage IGST. 2 lakh 70,000 into 12 percentage 32,400. Now add both. 2 lakh 70,000 plus 32,400. The total will be 3 lakh 2,400. Now on the sales column, write down the sales value. That is 2 lakh 70,000. No output CGST, no output SGST. Under output IGST column, we have to mention the IGST amount 32,400. On the total column, add the sales value plus IGST 3 lakh 2,400. Go to the next one. On June 12th, sold old computer for rupees 1500 to Mohan and Company on credit. This is also a credit sales, but the only difference is this is not the sale of goods. This is a sale of an asset. We sold an old computer on credit. This transaction will be recorded in journal proper. We can't record this in sales. So omit that transaction. Go to next one. On 20th June, Sold 4 sofa sets at the rate of 25,000 each to Varun and Co. to Varun and Company for cash. This is a cash transaction. We sold 4 sofa sets to Varun and Company for ready cash. So it will be recorded in cash book only. There is no price under sales book. So we can omit that transaction from our sales book. Go to next one. On 25th, sold to new furniture house Jaipur, Rajasthan, 5 sofa sets at the rate of 20,000 each, 10 tables at the rate of 8,000 each. This is a purchase and transaction of sale of goods. So we have to record in sales book. Here we are situating at the Rajasthan stage. Here the buyer, new furniture house, they are also situating at the, the state of Rajasthan. So this sales will be Anindra state states. Anindra state states. So the GST will be output CGST and output SGST. No IGST. So write down June 25th. New furniture house. Jaipur Rajasthan. 5 sofa sets at the rate of 20,000 each. Write down the total. 5 into 20,000. 1 lakh. Next one is 10 tables at the rate of 8,000 each. The total will be 10 into 8,000. 80,000. Now total is 1 lakh plus 80,000, 1 lakh 80,000. Check whether any trade discount is there. In the question, nothing mentioned about the trade discount. So there is no trade discount. So we can go to the GST part. Add 6 percentage output CGST. 1 lakh 80,000 into 6 percentage. 10,800. Again, add 6 percentage output SGST. 10,800. Now total the column 1 lakh 80,000 plus 10,800 plus 10,800. 2 lakh 1,600. This is the total invoice value. On the next column, I record the sales amount only without the tax. The sales amount is 1 lakh 80,000. On the output CGST column, I record the output CGST amount 10,800. And under the output SGST column, write down the SGST amount, 10,800. Now, the amount in output IGST. Now, total the column, 2 lakh 1,600. Go to the next one. On 28th June, purchased from Ramlal and company Jaipur on rates, 5 chairs at the rate of 2,000 each. This transaction is a purchase of goods that will be recorded in purchase book. So, here we are preparing sales book. So we can't record this transaction in sales book. So we are omitting that transaction from here. We can record this one under purchase book. Now we completed the question. Now total the columns. Under sale column total, 
9,25,000. Total the output CGST 10,800. Output SGST 10,800. Output IGST 89,400. Now the total column will be 10 lakh 36,000. Now we completed the sales book. Let's see how to post these transactions into each ledger. Here we have a how many accounts? The first one is the buyer, debtor account. Here our one debtor is, first one is Gupta Furniture House, second is Raja Furniture House, third is New Furniture House. We have to open three accounts for these persons, one account for sales, one account for output CGST, another account for output IGST, another will be output IGST. So we opened ledger accounts for all these and how to post these transactions into each ledger. First take the party ledgers. All these are credit sales. So the buyers will be tend of debtors. All the debtors account is showing only debit balance that is receivable from the debtors. All receivables are assets. The general entry for a credit sale is a customer or buyer account debtor to sales. Here we are taking the total amount from the sales book. So go to the debit side of Gupta Furniture House, write down 4th June 2017 to sales. How much? The total amount including tax because that is the total invoice value we have to be collected from that customer. 5,32,000. Now we have to get 5,32,000 from Gupta Furniture House. Go to the second ledger, sales ledger, write down on the credit sales. This debit we recorded and the credit is to be recorded on the sales ledger by Gupta Furniture House. How much? The sales amount will be only the sales value excluding the GST. So the sales value is recorded on the sales column for lakh 75,000. Go to the next ledger. Output IGST. Here we have to the output tax. CGST, SGST and IGST will be a liability of the company because we are collecting the tax amount from the customers as and when we are selling the goods for and on behalf of the government. So up to the date of payment, the output CGST will be a liability of the company and it will show a credit balance. Now go to output IGST account. Write on the credit side by Gupta Furniture House 57,000. Go to the next transaction on June 8th Raja Furniture House Ahmedabad. Go to the debit side of Raja Furniture House June 8th to the funding to sales. How much? The total amount including tax 3,2400. Now we have to get all the amount from the Raja Furniture House. Go to the sales account. On the credit side by Raja Furniture House, the only sales value 2,70,000. The next is IGST Parks. Again go to the IGST account. On the credit side by Raja Furniture House, 32,400. Now we completed all these three. Go to the next one, June 25th. New Furniture House account we already opened. Go to the debit side of the New Furniture House. Write down to sales, 2,1600. Go to the sales account. Write down by new furniture house 1,80,000. Here CGST and SGST will be there. So go to the output CGST account. This is also a liability. On the credit side, write down the name of the buyer by new furniture house 10,800. Go to the next ledger output CGST. Go to the credit side by new furniture house 10,800. Now we completed the postings from the sales book to individual ledgers. Now balance or total these individual ledgers. We can easily prepare a trial balance from these ledgers. Our trial balance will be tidy. So and in the sales account we mentioned three customers now one by one. Instead we can record the total of the sales column of the sales book. So the sales column of the sales book is showing 9,25,000. That is single amount we can record in sales account instead of these three parties. Now what we record under sales account, 
we have credited by Gupta Furniture House four lakh seventy five thousand, by Raja Furniture House two lakh seventy thousand, by New Furniture House one lakh eighty thousand. Instead of individual credits, we can take the grand total of sales from the sales book that is nine lakh twenty five thousand. That we can record on the credit side of the sales account by total of sales book nine lakh twenty five thousand. Both we can prepare. So we have studied how to prepare sales book and how to post these transactions from sales book to letters. If you are really like the video, please like, share, and subscribe my channel. You can get all useful classes. Please enable the bell icon. Our next class will be bills payable and bills received and general proper. That the three we can complete in a single class. It is only a simple thing. We can meet on next class. Bye.